welcome guys to another video in telegram bot in Ubuntu series. In this tutorial we will generate an SSL certificate for our subdomain. First we need to change the external port in virtual server record that we created in the previous tutorial to port 80 in order for this process to work. And once we finish we will switch back to port 8443. We will be using let's encrypt certification authority which is a free SSL provider and it recommends using certbot client to generate the certificates. This is the certbot installation guide and we can find a tutorial showing how to install on Ubuntu. So we're going to copy these commands right here and open our terminal and paste them. Once they finish, we're going to type sudo apt install certbot Okay, now we have successfully installed certbot. Let's now understand how the process works. First, we request our SSL certificate from certbot and we will be prompt to enter the domain for the certificate, which is going to be the host name that we created in no IP. Then we are gonna be prompt to enter the web root of our server files, which is basically uh, the folder that contains your server files. Then certbot will create a challenge file in the web root of our web server to verify the ownership of the domain. The file is read by a get request that has a URL that looks like this. So it's basically going to be our domain, just like this, our domain, then slash dot will dash known slash ACME dash challenge slash and then a string uh, which actually is a file created on your server in this uh, directory right here. So if it was able to verify the challenge then it will generate the SSL certificate files. So we need to define a route controller method to read this challenge file right here and return the content of this file to the as a response to the request. Right, so let's go back to our uh, VS Code right here, and we want to define a new route. So at app dot route, and this route is going to be slash dot will dash known slash ACME dash challenge slash, and then we're going to have a string, which is actually the file name of the challenge. So we're going to store this string in a variable called challenge. So challenge, we're going to write challenge between angle brackets. And then we're going to define our controller method. So def verify underscore challenge, which is going to take the input, which is challenge. This is the file name of the uh, challenge. And then we're going to read this challenge file. So challenge underscore file is equal to open and then we're going to enter our file path which is apparently going to be dot will dash known slash ACME dash challenge slash and then our challenge right so I'm gonna append to this string right here the challenge right so this is our challenge file. We want to return challenge file dot read. So now that we created our verify challenge method, we are ready to generate our certificate. Let's go back to our terminal and run the following commands. So we're back to our terminal. We're going to write sudo certbot cert only and enter. Then we're going to choose the option 2. So now 
it's asking us to enter our domain. So it's basil tech bot the ddns.net or whatever your subdomain is like. Then we're gonna hit enter. Now we're going to enter the web root path. So basically in my case it's slash home slash basil slash telegram underscore bot but first we need to make sure that we run our server so I'm going to open a terminal right here and make sure you activate your flask environment so conda activate flask and then python server.py so now our server is running let's go back to the terminal and let's hit enter okay so as you can see the certificate is successfully generated and this is the uh, the certificate file and this is our certificate private key so we need to copy both of these files into our working directory so what we're gonna do is type here sudo cat and then we're gonna copy this path right here and paste it and then a greater than sign and then we're gonna type the path of the new file that we want in our working directory so it's gonna be slash home slash basil slash telegram bot I'm gonna create a new folder which is SSL slash and then we're gonna put in in full chain PEM so apparently I forgot to create the SSL folder so mk dir and then slash home slash basil slash telegram bot slash SSL and let's rerun the command again oops double s here we go and let's now copy the private key which is going to be exactly the same but this one is prive key and we're gonna copy it to prive key let's move back to the VS code and as you can see this is the SSL folder right here and these are the certificate files now we need to define two variables that are going to store the paths of our certificate files so let's create the first one which is going to be cert underscore path which is apparently going to be the full chain path so slash home slash basil slash telegram underscore bot slash ssl and then slash full chain dot pem and we're going to copy this and we're going to make the key the key underscore path variable which is going to be the prive key dot pem right here one last thing to do is actually add an extra parameter to the instance of the flask server which is going to be sso underscore context it's going to be a tuple the first element in the tuple is the cert underscore path and the second one is the key underscore path okay let's now run our server and as always make sure you're in the flask uh, anaconda environment and then you're gonna write python server pi here we go our server is up and running at port 8080 locally and remember at port 80 in the external IP so let's switch back to uh, Chrome right here and try to access our uh, our server to verify the certificates so HTTPS colon slash slash basil tech bot dot ddns dot net and then specify the port 80 
and here we go welcome to our server and we can see that our certificate is valid right here and the certificate certification authority is blitz in 30 and if we switch back to our uh, console right here we can see that we have a get request which is um, the one we've just made all right so what we're gonna do now is actually go back to our router UI and we actually wanna go back in the virtual servers and edit this record right here and change the port back to 8443 and in the next tutorial we're going to dive into the telegram bot API and see the various uh, basic methods and functions that we can use in order to implement our telegram bot so until then stay safe